Do you use high resolution images or use screenshots for your website? And do you optimize those same images for the web? Hi, my name is Michael Chow. And in today's video, you will learn how to optimize your photos with a Mac without Photoshop. Would you imagine this image was further optimized by 50% and still retain its quality? How? It's called tinypng.com or tinyjpeg.com. Both websites are the same and they take both file formats on each other's website. I've always used tinypng.com since the early days of 2012. One could upload the images through the website or you can purchase the plugin for Photoshop. For this tutorial, I will be using the free online tool. Not only that, but I also love seeing the difference in how much space I save when uploading my images online. Go to either tinypng.com or tinyjpeg.com. I am using tinypng.com in my example. Depending on which website you may use, one website uses JPEG and the other uses PNG. And again, both websites does take both file formats. When an image is uploaded to the website, it is processed and analyzed through the site. It looks at the colors and selectively decreases the number of colors in the image and removes any unnecessary metadata in the picture, reducing the file size dramatically. You can either drag and drop the image inside where it says, or click anywhere on the big button to browse and select your images. You will notice another 50% was reduced, and my final size is 132 kilobytes. If we look at this side by side, do you see any difference between the two? Having an image optimized for the web will download quickly on a mobile or tablet, but it's great for SEO practices too. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.